I do want to talk about the review bombing and what you think about the obvious, the obvious hatred. Like there's yeah. actually people who are racist hatred and don't like it. I, I checked the Ahsoka show. It was like 60% rotten. And this show here for Acolyte is somewhere in the 10%, 15% rotten. And I'm saying, I believe that there is, I'm so racist. I'm going to go over there and throw a negative review. I believe that's true. I believe it's valid. But not every single one of them no. are, those, are those racist guys or those or anti-women guys also because it's a, it's a woman there. And I, that's why I'm citing Ahsoka as an example because those guys who are racist and hateful were this year were just as hateful and racist last year. And it's, it's 60% rotten. But do you believe also that they, because this is what I believe, is almost you made it you made a you made the video where you talked about how they marketed the acolyte and they did not show the black woman up front and center. And then when they did show her skin tone, well, let's lighten it up. Let's put her next to a lightsaber so the 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 beam of the lightsaber will brighten her up and make her look, you know, a lighter than what she is. Almost contrary to what they did with the little mermaid, because even we said it. I wouldn't have made Little Mermaid black because you're asking for racists to jump aboard the hate train. The fem, you know what I'm saying? People, grown ass men, were review bombing the Little Mermaid. Like, so I'm not going to ignore that these people do exist. If, if they make seven, it could be one person makes seven emails and going right, right to right in the middle and review bombing it because it can happen. Not saying it is out of the realm of possibility, but I They're also not do agree. All though. It's not no, all no, of them. I, no, no, that's what percentage I said. of the people are right. that. We don't know. We, we, we can know. we can we can say based off looking at Ahsoka's numbers, or we can say that it's less than half. It's or you you could say you could say this. You could go look at those comments and just read what the comments actually say. Out of all, you know, the, the what the comments say in, in, in on Rotten Tomato. And then see what the what is the conversation? Because yeah, so if, if they say girl power sucks or something like that, we know what they mean. Well, because some people are gonna, some people are not gonna write that. They'll mask it with like poor uh, visuals. Then this is is I've I've read some of them and uh, it the long. I just look for the keywords. All I'm looking for is keywords. You know what I'm saying? If writing, but you're not saying why the writing. I can understand the the established character in changing his date. The day he was born, I can completely understand that. But is it that the the end all be all of poor writing? Like, is that oh my god, you did that, so I'm done. I'm absolutely out because the writing on this sucks because you changed the date of established character that I had on the tops car and my CD ROM from 1999. You guys <laughs> suck. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it got to be more than that. It has to be more than that. This is the video he was talking about where I was talking about Finn and how they shrunk him in the American poster and then over over in the East and China. Mm -hmm. This is what Black Panther got. He got his face covered. And yeah, in Wish, international poster, you see there's a light distorting. Where's the where's the mm -hmm. color? Where's the light coming from? You see all the color of her face? So I'm just trying to say like they do this a lot where there's like a far away shot. Oh, look, mm -hmm. a beam of light. Can you really tell if you didn't know any better? If you didn't know who Halle mm -hmm. Bailey was, can you really tell that she was the Little Mermaid in that movie? Or look how dark it is over there. Can you really tell that it's a dark skin? She's not that dark skin, but a melanated person with maybe, mm -hmm. let's say, 50% melanin levels. You Can you really tell from that angle? Or this one, we got this light interacting with her face again. This is a common practice. This is the poster for um for Acolyte. And you can see that she's not even in the center. The one of the, her faces for her May char Osha character, it's got the red light. Can't really tell. Mm -hmm. And then all the way on the other side where she's playing Osha, the I could even tell. The, mm -hmm. I was looking over at the thumbnails also for the video. And then, yeah, there's, there's this thumbnail where it's very dark. That's right. From episode four. Another red tint. We've got another one that's coming up in a second. Shout, yeah, shout out to Leslie Headland. We don't stand for racism or hate. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. But what is your company doing? Well, you guys are not furthering anything. There's this one here, another poster where she's not even there. Exactly. And I wrote this. I commented that 
on a Star Wars post that they did where they were saying, look at our new poster. Again, it is black. It's not. They keep doing it. And then they come and talk about how racism isn't the answer and guys got to do better and whatnot. And I'm like, no, like company. You guys are not even getting behind it. I don't. I hate it because they're going to say at all their conventions, they're going to do the rounds and they're going to say how this was the first time we got a black woman to be the star of our show. But how did you present it and how did you advertise it? Were you guys standing behind it or were you like narrowly escaping the backlash of using black characters? Oh, maybe they won't know she's black and then they'll watch it and then finally we'll get them hooked like that. You're not proud. That, no. And it, 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 again, this is why... For one, you you cause negative discord when you're looking at these people. And Marvel did it. You remember, I don't have my comic books back up here anymore. You remember when they introduced uh the, the uh, uh the first female Captain Marvel? Was her face shown on the cover? Nope. Miles Morales in uh what's the name of the damn comic run? Um with his first introduction in, in his comic run. His the first issue, ultimate you don't fallout see, number ultimate four. Fallout, no, ultimate fallout number four. Don't see his face. Don't see his face. Oh, you you want amazing, amazing Spider-Man amazing 15? Amazing Spider-Man 15. Because you oh. oh yeah, you don't see her face. This is a common practice. They did this with Black Panther and Fantastic uh, Fantastic Four number 52. They did the same, they did the same thing. I used to have uh, that one around. All you see is all you see is you know the Black Panther popping out. You don't know it what his skin color is. You don't know anything until you open up that book. Sometimes so you gotta listen, pop out and show Richard. So, yeah, <laughs> <He's not funny>. <laughs> <laughs> but pause because we don't want anybody to show anybody's. You Richard's know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is it. This is the situation. How I mean, Marvel's been doing this. Hollywood's been doing. They've been doing this a lot. You know what I'm saying? They do this a lot. They always cover up a black person, and then you get surprised with it. Just think about this: you're a white person, and you're not trying to be racist, but like I didn't know it was gonna be this many blacks in here. You know what I mean? And you, like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And some people who, you know, who have hatred in their heart. I didn't want to come up here and sign all of this here. Blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come to see black people in shows. What did the what did the um. What did the uh, the guy that was the investor for Marvel say? I I don't have no problem with, with women in films. Why why we gotta have Marvels? I ain't got no problem. But why we gotta have a Black Panther? I because... crow mutter. Yeah, he had he had a. But it was the investor. He had a, he had a skewed a skewed view of the world. Um, I don't. I I'm not with him. I've heard enough about him, and he was pro pro, pro preventing the Black Panther movie to even happen. Is it's he only after... because. It's after it was an investor for Disney who came out and they was going to try to kick him out the investor group because he came out and said, why do we have a, have to have a Black Panther movie with all these black people in it? And why do we, I don't have any problem with women, but why do we have to have the Marvels? Yeah, he, he didn't say, I don't have a problem with black people, but blah, 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 blah. But he did say, I didn't have a problem with problem women. With women. So I, are you, okay, you know what would have been nice? I don't have a problem with black people, but you know why? Because you can be white. And a woman. Don't you ever forget that when you hear diversity, when you hear about representation and words that are all capturing words, they don't are not talking about melanin. They're not talking about those causes. Nope. The wrong uh, agenda podcast. You need to coin a term for this poster phenomenon because I think it will continue. That's wise. Um, you're here. Do you want you? What do you, what do you think, Dre? The when they do the poster, but it's not really with dark skin. What are they doing? Are they, are they... black fishing? Shadow faces. Mm. Shadow facing. Shadow face. Shadow face. That's... <laughs> what? What did? What did? Uh, my guy from TikTok say night skin. Y'all night skinning us. Y'all don't want to see the night skins on here. Uh, hell, I don't know. I don't know what you would really call that. Light face. Honestly, light face. No Black Panther, no Black Widow movies, no one. Yeah, that's what Ike Perlmutter was on. Color masking. I like that. Melanin it, masking, double M's. I mean. Color masking better? I like color masking. Because look what they did with uh, 
they did with uh, T'Challa. It was crazy is that Bad Boys didn't, didn't get that. You know, when you look at the poster for Bad Boys, the international trailer, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence is on there. With the guns out. But you don't get that say, you don't, and nobody's saying, I don't want to go see them two over there, which they made a lot of money in China. Do you know what I mean? So why would you, why would you hide other black people over overseas? Or are you just doing that? They're trying to say it's China's fault because that's what it's starting to say. That when I seen that bad boys four trailer, I mean, uh, poster, the international poster, and it had two black people on there. Then I know Disney's lying. I'm sorry, you're lying. You can't tell me that, you know, all oh, we put black people on there, it's not going to generate as much money. Bullshit. Bullshit. Which I don't is- see a Chinese release for this movie. Hold up, because I had the poster. I see Australia, South Korea, New Zealand. For, for bad boys, I should say. For bad boys. I don't see a Chinese release on box office mojo. Hold on. But it got a Middle East and Africa release. It got a Latin America yeah, it said June twenty second, and this is the uh, this is the poster. Hold on, I me. Mean, All right, here we go. That's the post. Now, what does that tell you? Oh, so it's it's it is out then. It just came out. Oh, and yeah, the numbers the out. numbers didn't register yet. That's good to know. But 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 what does this tell you? That you have two black mm-hmm. people on face blackity black. You know what I'm saying? Face all of this. So don't tell me that oh China doesn't uh, you know it's not well you know uh, you know I took it off but oh no if we have you know um, us on screen in China they won't buy our they won't buy our film that's and, a lie and and Will Smith is woke enough to know no the reason for this representation and the value of it is so that the posters are on the street because there's people who are not going to watch the movie but. I need them as they're walking their dog in Beijing to notice that, oh, there's a poster to, oh, I almost did my change my voice. I'm not trying to be racist. I'm not trying to be hateful nope. or anything, but they're going to be walking their dog, minding their own business. And they're going to say, oh, okay, look, in my day, I just interacted with dark skinned people. There's two of them right there. Actually, I'm familiar with these guys. I've seen them in the last movie from 2020. All right, cool. And I'm just walking my dog. That's awesome. That's needed. It's in those parts of the world where 99% of everyone has the same ethnicity to, to add that variety and it'll lead to more humanization. I'm just saying, Derek DeCarp- uh, DeCarpio uh, commented on here, got 400 likes, two black men on a, uh, two black men on a movie poster in China. You're right. Huge. And, and they're wearing police little vests as they have their guns out. So it's not not a bandana, yeah. isn't right. anything like that. They're not they're not being a stereotype. Yeah. Of black mm-hmm. culture, they're police officers, you know, just like they have over in China, you know. So again, in Will Smith is tagged in this. Again, I don't believe what Will Smith commented on this. Uh, we're locked in. We're releasing Bad Boys in China on June twenty second. So you cannot tell me. You cannot tell me that they that Marvel, Disney, Star Wars can't do the same thing. They're full of shit. I don't care what nobody says. They're full of shit. 